The only question is that we pay our carbon taxes to. The only question is, will they get away with it, Max Kaiser? <laughs> I, I think there's a couple of things that people can do to um, to to uh, offer some kind of balance to the situation. Uh, one, you know, throughout history, I, 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 I think why why shouldn't there be now a global uh, passive resistance movement. You know, passive resistance movements in the in the U.S. worked during the civil rights era, and in India under the Gandhi era, it worked. Well, you know, maybe to fight the global, uh, you know, to feed this global insurrection against this corporate and banking occupation that we're seeing all over the world, there should be a global program of global civil disobedience. For example, um, one easy thing that people can do to start to to destabilize the oligarchy is is to completely avoid all copyrighted material and to make your own copyrighted material make your own content not not to this end i actually i'm launching a new website this week it's called pirate my film dot com pirate oh, that's what i do that oh, hold on max kaiser i want a, a bbc news reporter host his own show max kaiser dot com invented stock market system stay there uh we've got the state rep and uh, so just stay there for a moment i apologize i want to <clears throat> get him on because this is breaking news Okay, Max Kaiser, I apologize uh, for making you wait five minutes uh, when we invited you on here, but this is breaking, and I wanted to just get that on record. Again, Max, it isn't just about raising money. Suddenly, all over, the Marines are at DWI checkpoints, the Army's at mass shootings. Suddenly, they're putting liaison officers in all the major police departments in the Intelligence Bureau. This is slow-motion uh, martial law. Yeah, well, when you have an economy like America, which is 70% consumption and something like uh, 10 to 15% military, you know, you got to give them something to do. You know, this is just the business of America is, is the military and consumption. So you've got huge health problems with overconsumption, huge economic problems, and you've got your military sitting in your backyard. Because the economy it needs to be re-architected to, to, to reflect something else. This current economic architecture of America of consumption and militarism does not it is can be changed to reflect something else it does not reflect any existential threat there's absolutely no reason for the american economy to be consumption and militarism it's just a choice made by those who sell consumer products and military products to create a country that buys military uh, military uh, purchases and consumer products instead so max instead max uh, you know loop for those people but it doesn't have to be that way it, there's nothing in the world that nobody you know the fact is, America is 5% of the world population. The GDP is shrinking rapidly. It has a very high opinion of itself. I, you know, who really cares about it anymore? I mean, it, the other economies are growing faster. They're more interesting. They're more dynamic in Asia and the Mideast and Europe. You know, America thinks, you know, it's becoming kind of a forgotten country at this point because it just doesn't do that much anymore. You know, the, the, the athletes are all on steroids. The Olympics are fixed. The banking system's a fraud. Who really thinks about it? If you leave America, nobody talks about America anymore. Sure, Barack Obama is a very photogenic guy, and, he, and he's great in Europe, and they applaud him. But by this time next week, he will be, in, you know, forgotten. And people are going to be focusing on jobs, quality of life, and issues that are important within the economies here in Europe that do not uh, feed into consumerism and radical militarization. That's not what the economy is based in. Max in Kaiser. Europe. I interrupted you earlier. I wanted you to finish up with your new website dealing with uh, changing the paradigm. Yeah, changing paradigm is exactly right. The site is called piratemyfilm.com. It gives filmmakers a way to finance their films by pre-selling what I call gold copies to people who are then entitled to a percentage of any ad revenues that might be generated once the film is released to the pirate network. So I say, instead of fighting the pirates, work with the pirates. Because the copyright so-called pirates, they're being vilified unnecessarily. All they're doing is stretching the limits of technology and challenging unjust copyright laws. And they're being, again, caught up in the military in the U.S. And it's killing intellectual property in the U.S. It's stifling creativity in the U.S. To have things on copyright law for 20, 30, 40, 50, lifetime plus 70 years is like having an intellectual lobotomy. And that's part of the reason that America can't think its way out of these problems is because all the good ideas are locked up on corporate balance sheets. So I say this site, piratemyfilm.com, it gives filmmakers and creatives a chance to raise money for projects by pre-selling future ad revenue. And uh, it's all based on my, some of my previous designs and some of my previous websites. It's, it, all I have up right now is a splash page, but I'm going to start right. to 
introduce more functionality in the very next few days. All right, Max Kaiser, I got a lot of final questions I want to get to with you. Uh, you know, I talked about how bad will it get, but uh, let, let's try to cover that. But first, Barack Obama, I see him just as a diversion and, and as a distraction uh, that the establishment is using while the very same power structure outside of even his control just moves forward with their agenda. Your take on that? Well, I've been on your show before, Alec. I made two, I, I said two statements that I want to revisit right now. In, leading up to the Barack Obama election, I said, you know, I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm not going to really come out and be critical of Barack Obama, even though the people in his cabinet look the exact same people as the Bush cabinet. Like, give him the benefit of the doubt. Now I, I've seen what I've seen, and it looks like he's totally under, in the pocket of Wall Street and these guys, and I'm absolutely flabbergasted because it doesn't appear as though he's really making any kind of moves to extricate himself from the iron grip of these financial oligarchs. But it, it kind of saddens me. Uh, the other thing I mentioned on your show a couple of months ago was that there would be a run on the COMEX and the gold market and back in December. That did not happen, but we did just get news that Deutsche Bank was involved in a massive manipulation on the COMEX in the past couple of weeks. So there's still a lot of um, fun and games going on in the COMEX, the gold futures markets in New York. There wasn't a run, as I predicted, back in December, but there is a lot of, um, a lot of skullduggery going on in that market. So, well, to be anyway, fair, you said you thought it might happen, but they might be able to manipulate themselves out of it. I mean, the IMF just announced they're going to sell their gold to try to drive it down again. So it's like a beach ball they're trying to hold under. I got a key question for Max Kaiser straight ahead after this quick break. Final segment, ladies and gentlemen. Stay with us. His website's maxkaiser.com. Acola Blue. Acola Blue com is one of the sponsors that makes this radio show possible. Atmospheric water generator for your home. Pays for itself in one year if you buy your water from the store. Pure clean water without the fluoride. Unlimited water from the humidity in the air. Know exactly what you're drinking. Machine produces up to 28 liters of water in 24 hours. The uh, generated water is passed through seven filters, including reverse osmosis and carbon. Again, that number is 1-800-691-6043, one 691 6043 or acolablue.com. Check them out today. Also, mysolarbackup.com, a great solar generator system. The Power Source 1800 power plant with high-efficiency solar panel designed to provide endless electricity. Remember, too, that with gas generators, you need gas. So in a blackout, you need a solar panel that's plugged into battery system. And they've got a great one at MySolarBackup.com or give them a call at 877-327-0365, 877-327-0365, MySolarBackup.com. Max, specifically, you got linked up on Drudge and it made national news in the U.S. when you made the point on international media that uh, you know, global currency is the, the, the establishment some of them want. The bankers want a new level of the Ponzi scheme. You made the comment that the United States would not put up with that. Yeah, exactly. In other words, um, the U.S. dollar is a world reserve currency. The IMF is mostly made up of dollars in the U.S. influence. So is the World Bank. The, uh, the fact that the U.S. has a world reserve currency gives it an, an incredible advantage in global commerce because it can effectively buy things on credit, and then when they have to pay out the credit, they just issue more currency. And that's the advantage of having a reserve currency. All other countries in the world, for example, if they want to buy oil, they first have to buy dollars because oil is traded exclusively in dollars. Gold is, is traded in dollars, it, it, and, and commodities are traded in dollars. So uh, if any other country, like Japan, wants to buy oil, they first have to buy dollars, and that's what gives incredible support to the dollar. And the U.S. gets a commission on every single dollar. You know, that's a huge business for these bankers is the commission on dealing in dollars. So they don't want to get rid of that business. They don't want to share that business with anyone else. They don't want any other competing currencies. And, they'll go, and, and you know, when Iraq was going to start trading oil in euros, that's when you, the U.S. went in, shock and awe. When, when, when Iran started talking about trading oil and gas in euros, oh, oh, we're going to start saber rattling uh, against uh, Iran. You know, and, and China is now saying, well, oh, we're going to start uh, trading in something maybe other than dollars, and we're going to do all these bilateral deals, billions, tens of billions of dollars in bilateral deals in, in Africa using other currencies other than the dollar. And the question is, well, is the U.S. going to go in there and do some kind of military action in Beijing like uh, they've done in other countries? And although it may sound at first blush a bit uh, extreme, you think about a previous empire, uh, which was England when their counterparty, China, was not buying their goods, the English went in with their gunboats 
and started something called the Opium Wars. They got China hooked up on opium, addicted to opium, as a way to defend the British pound. All so, right, Max Kaiser, Max Kaiser, we're going to end the main radio transmission there, but at PrisonPlanet.tv and on the audio streams at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv with a live TV stream. We're going to continue for another 10, 15 minutes. We've got to let you go on this line and call you right back on your line in Paris. Okay, Max? Okay. There goes Max Kaiser. I'm Alex Jones signing off. For everybody else, again, the show's going to re-air on stations across the country, but if you're an Internet listener, join us. We'll be right back in a minute at InfoWars.com. Thank you for listening to GCN. Be sure to visit GCNLive.com today.